Hi students, we're jumping into a pronunciation lesson today, um, talking about the pronunciation of contractions using will or the negative with won't. Um, very easy when we see it written or when we hear it pronounced slowly. More difficult when we're hearing it pronounced at that fast, reduced, um, contracted, or sometimes even swallowed type of American English pronunciation. So let me jump over here and we'll get right into it. Um, pronunciation of contractions in American English. This practice, we're just looking at will and won't, the positive and the negative. Important for us to think about when are we using the contraction. So in my informal conversation, and even in my formal conversation, I am using the contraction every single day. In my informal writing, I'm using the contraction. In my formal university writing, I'm not using the contraction. For example, in my formal thesis, essay, dissertation at, whether it's GED writing, um, university writing, TOEFL level writing, I'm not writing I'll. I'm writing, I will. I'm not writing, she won't. I'm writing, she will not in that very formal academic writing. Otherwise, I'm hearing the contraction. I'm saying the contraction throughout all the different parts of my life. Uh, my formal life in my job, my informal casual life with my family, I hear the contraction being used. Um, and so formal or informal, the contraction is considered acceptable even for formal conversations. My first practice here, thinking about I will, and then of course here going my verb, right? My third my third um, word here should be the verb. I will go, I'll, I'll. It sounds like I, L, I'll, I'll go. I'll call you back. I'll call you back when I can. I'll, I'll call you back. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. It has the same sound as the word aisle with A, aisle one at Walmart, aisle 10, aisle 55. And the word aisle, I-S-L-E, which is the same as my word island, aisle. I'll see you next week. I'll see you next week. I'll have to call you back. I'll have to call you back. You will verb becoming y'all, y'all, all, all, y'all. Almost similar to the word stole, y'all, the same sound at the end, y'all. You'll be working tomorrow. You'll be working tomorrow. You'll travel next year. You'll travel next year. You'll have to call me back. You'll have to call me back. You'll find out the answer tomorrow. You'll find out the answer tomorrow. You'll. These three I'm keeping together because they all end up with a similar sound. She will, verb, he will, verb, we will, verb. She'll, he'll, and we'll. My mouth becomes very wide. My cheeks become very tight when I say eel, eel, she'll, he'll, we'll. I'll, I'll is a tall, skinny sound, I'll. Y'all, all, all. I'll, you'll, she'll, he'll, we'll. And I have a note here to think about the word feel. Feel has a similar sound as she'll, he'll, or we'll. She'll find a new job. He'll find a new job. We'll find a new job. He'll take a vacation. She'll take a vacation. We'll take a vacation. 
We'll be going there next year. He'll be going there next year. She'll be going there next year. You hear that strong eel, eel sound. Okay. I'll, you'll, she'll, he'll, we'll, it, will, it, will. So often remember that the T in spoken American English changes into a D. I will hear both. I will hear it'll, it, it'll, and I will hear it'll, it'll, it, it, dull. Think about this like the word little, little, it'll, id, id, it'll. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I know it'll be difficult. I know it'll be difficult. It'll be working next week. Um, it, my car, my phone, my lesson, it. It'll be working next week. They will, they'll, ale, ale. Think about ale like the word male, tail, pale, that ale, 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 ale. They'll. She told me they'll be there. Blah, blah, blah. That one's a really difficult tongue twister. She told me they'll be there. They'll. They'll be there. They'll be there. Air, air. They'll be there. I know they'll be traveling. I know they'll be traveling. They'll let me know. They'll let me know next week. They'll let me know next week. Okay, how's your brain feeling so far? I'll, you'll, he'll, she'll, it'll, we'll go, they'll go. Another difficult piece then coming with my negative. The beautiful part is that doesn't matter. I, you, he, she, we, they, all of them, won't, won't, won't. You're going to have the O, O, O sound. Your lips are going to be a small circle. Won't. O, 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 O. I know you feel foolish when we do this in class, but make the sound. Make the, make the shape with your lips so that you're feeling it. O, O, O. Won't. Won't. I won't go. I won't go. Ah, and do you hear I even cut my T? I won't. I won't go. They won't be traveling. Again, I cut my T. They won't be traveling. She told me that she won't be coming next week. She told me that she won't be coming next week. She won't be coming. The reason the shape of your lip is so important for won't is because won't, want, and went. These are a painful set in English. Won't, want, went. Easy when I see them written. Easy when, maybe easy when I hear them. I'm not sure. Um, how do you feel? Do you think they're easy when you hear them? I won't go. I want to go. I went last week. But when we pronounce them, we have difficulty. Won't is going to have the long O. Your lips should be a small circle. O, 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 won't. I won't go. They won't be traveling. O, 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 they won't. Want is going to have the ah, 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 the short O sound, ah, ah, ah. Think about the word on, on, ah, 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 ah. Your lips are loose and they're in a large circle. Ah, 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 I want. I, ah, 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 I want. I won't. I won't go. I want. I want to go. And then my word went, ent, ent. You're going to have a tight feeling in your cheek. Think about the word end, end. Your lips are going to be wider, end. I went. I won't. I want, I went, 
I won't, I want, I went. I won't work next week. I want to work next week. I went to work yesterday. I won't call you. I want to call you. I went home to call you. Um, one last piece we have. Let me check. Yep, one last piece that we have in our video, in our practice today, is thinking about contractions in the question. Now, contractions, I'll, you'll, he'll, she'll, we will see them written for informal and semi-formal, halfway formal. I won't see contractions written at my most formal level of writing, my TOEFL writing, my academic writing, um, but my note that I've written to my husband, the letter, the email that I write to my boss, absolutely, I'm writing contractions. Here, these are only pronounced contractions when I'm talking about the question. This is only a connection that's made in speaking. It's never a connection that's made in writing. When will you go? When'll you go? When'll, when'll you go? When will he? When'll he go? When'll he go? When will she? When'll she go? Who will you? Who'll you go? Who'll you go with? Who'll you be going with? Before you let, before I let you go, you gotta tell me who you'll be going with. Who'll, who'll you'll be going with? How will you? How will you get there? How will you get there? How will, how will, how will you get there? Really, really tight, reduced pronunciation. How will you get there? What will you do? What'll you do? What'll you do? What'll you do when you get there? What'll you be studying? What'll you be practicing? Where will you? Where will you? Where'll you go? Will, where'll you be staying? Hey, if you let me know where you'll be staying, where, hmm, that one didn't work. If you let me know, I want to come visit you where you'll be staying, where you'll be, ah, where will you? Will, where will you be staying in Chicago? Where will you be staying when you travel to Chicago? Where will you be staying? Where will you be living? Where will you be living? Where will you be living? Um, when I was creating this presentation to this video, when I was thinking about this video, I was trying to think of an example with why, and I couldn't think of one where I would actually contract. I think I would say, why will you? Why will you? I don't think I would say, why will you? Why will you? And maybe because of the word while, W-H-I-L-E, while I was talking. For this reason, maybe I'm not saying, why will you? Why will you go? Mm, it doesn't sound right to me. Okay, quick review here of the contractions, the reduced forms for using will and will not and will in question format. I'll, I'll, you'll, you'll, you'll have to call me back. He'll, eel, 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 tight lips, he'll. He'll, what? He'll be working tomorrow. She'll, she'll be working. We'll, we'll be talking. It'll, it'll, it will. It'll be okay. They'll, they'll, ale, 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 they'll. They'll get the mail. They'll get the mail. My negative with won't, 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 I won't go. I won't go. She won't call me. Remember, won't, oh, 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 different from ah, 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 ah. I won't go. I want to go. And yesterday I went. Won't, want, went. And don't forget about the question form. Remember that these question forms are never, 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 never written as a contraction. 
but they're very often pronounced as a contraction. When will you be there? Who will go with you? How will you get there? What will you do when you get there? And where will you be going? Where will you be going? All right, students, that's where we're going to um, finish for today. Let me know in the comments which part has been the easiest for you to understand or which part was the most difficult. Let me know if there's another um, pronunciation that you'd like me to focus on. I've got a few more kind of planned out, but I'll try to add in any others that you would like me to touch on. Take care, and we'll be back with another lesson soon.